Hello and welcome to Autodesk Design Academy. In this video, we will highlight simulation working with imported geometry from Autodesk and non-native applications. In this module, you will learn how to directly import a CAD model into Autodesk Simulation Mechanical for analysis. We will discuss the differences in coordinate systems and orientation for various CAD packages. We will use Autodesk Sim Studio tools to import uh, different CAD geometry into Autodesk Simulation Mechanical, and we will uh, showcase how to perform a default uh, mesh. CAD solid models are commonly used in design of parts and assemblies in the industry. However, analysis is still mostly done by hand without the use of finite element analysis tools that can use this CAD geometry directly. Autodesk Simulation Mechanical provides an easy to use tool for these types of analyses from any imported CAD solid model. Now let's get into the software. When we launch Autodesk Simulation Mechanical, the first screen that we see is the file open dialog. We can change the type of file we want to open directly within this dialog and open any type of CAD geometry that is associated with Autodesk Simulation Mechanical. You can open AutoCAD files, Inventor files, CATIA files, DXF, IGES, solid and wireframe geometry as well as surface, JT and NX files and Parasolid files, ProEngineer and uh, Creo files, as well as Rhino, SAT and SOLIDWORKS files. You can also open previously created Autodesk simulation files, as well as non-Autodesk simulation FEA files. Uh, in this module, we will focus on the CAD ge geometry. So let's choose Autodesk Inventor files and open the section one inventor file called yoke underscore inventor. When we hit open, we will be able to choose several uh, options, or we can choose some of those options directly within the file open dialog. We can choose to import or not import work points from inventor, or we can choose to import 3D sketches uh, during the import of geometry as well. Uh, for now, I have chosen not to import them. Uh, these are options specific to Inventor. We also have global options for any type of CAD geometry. We can choose to import models uh, that are uh, made out of multiple parts and split the contact surface during the import. We can automatically create the contact pairs for assemblies during import. And uh, we have uh, several options for importing geometry the first time as well as a re-import operation. We can choose things like material information, color scheme, and part names. We can choose to import these things or not import them uh, depending on our preferences. Uh, in my case, I have chosen to ask the question during import for all of these options. So we can highlight them and select them during the import process. So let's go ahead and hit open and choose some of those options so the first question that comes up is which analysis type we want to use. And in this case, we will use a static stress under the linear uh, dropdown. But of course, we have the option to choose nonlinear thermal and electrostatic analyses. And if we always uh, use static stress or any one of those analysis types uh, for uh, our g analysis, we can make that the default and uh, skip this dialog altogether in our future file open applications. First question that comes up is what color palettes we want to use. And this is an inventor file, so I can choose to import inventor files. Uh, and to do that, I have to say no to the simulation mechanical color scheme. The next one is part names. Do I want to import the part names? And in this case, I'll say yes. And uh, this will import the file directly into simulation mechanical. As you can see, uh, the color scheme of gray for this part came in directly from Inventor. Uh, Autodesk Simulation Mechanical user interface is similar to Inventor in that it has the view cube and the navigation toolbar. It has a uh, XYZ mini axis as well as a scale ruler for me to see uh, my geometry and orientation easily. Uh, using the middle mouse button, I can uh, rotate, zoom in, out, and using shift keys and middle mouse button, I can also do zoom operations, and using the control key and middle mouse button, I can do pen operations. 
these are unique to simulation mechanical. Uh, if you are used to using uh, inventor-like uh, mouse controls, you can simply go to Tools, Application Options, Mouse Options, and change how you interact with the software so that it acts similar to Inventor, so that the middle mouse button and Control key and Alt key and Shift key uh, combinations can do different things for you. Of course, these are the predefined templates for different CAD interactions. You can create new templates and create your own interactions with the mouse as well. Uh, the next thing I want to pay attention to is the um, the part name. As you can see, the part name came in from Inventor. However, the material properties is undefined. Uh, you can define them manually, of course, but if you go to the Mesh tab and generate the 3D Mesh, upon the creation of the Mesh, the element type, element definition, and material properties will automatically be populated assuming that they are defined in Inventor. In this case, this Inventor file did not have any material properties defined, so the material information did not come in. Uh, next, I want to highlight the orientation differences between uh, Inventor and uh, SolidWorks. When I open uh, this geometry that was created in Inventor with the Y being up, uh, it came into Simulation Mechanical as Y up. However, if I open the same model that is created using SOLIDWORKS, so I'm going to change in my selection of file type to SOLIDWORKS and open it, you will see that no longer the Y direction will be up because in uh, SOLIDWORKS, uh, if the orientation is created such that uh, the Z is up, for example, um, that, that orientation will come into Simulation Mechanical. So here we have the Z up direction. And uh, of course, upon meshing, once again, the element type, element definition, and material information uh, will be automatically defined, assuming that they were defined in the CAD package. And uh, finally, if uh, you wanted to take a look at the front and top views using the view cube, these are predefined in Simulation Mechanical as uh, coming in from the CAD package, but they can also be customized. Once again, if you go to Tools, Application Options, and go to the Graphics tab, we have the capability to change all of the uh, view cube options under the navigation tools. And now you can define the, um, the uh, position, size, and uh, opacity and whether or not you want to keep the scene upright upon importing uh, directly in here. Under View Options, you can also define the def default template uh, to behave so that the certain um, XZ is the front view and the XY as the top view, for example, is what Autodesk Simulation uses but if you wanted to change it so that it behaves similar to Inventor, or if you want to change it so it behaves similar to SOLIDWORKS, you can make those changes as well, so that the top and front view will automatically update upon hitting Apply. So let's make it act more like Inventor, for example, just to see the difference. And as you can see, the orientation completely changed for the view cube. And when I hit OK, uh, now this, this view became the front view for this SOLIDWORKS file. Okay, uh, and the last thing I wanted to highlight is how to open models from uh, Sim Studio Tools. So I'll go ahead and close this geometry and launch Sim Studio Tools. I have a Sim Studio file, Sim Studio Tools file automatically created in here. So as you can see, this is a single body yoke part that is made up of uh, a body and several different features. And uh, you can, using some Studio tools, you can open several different file types as well. And those file types are listed directly in here. And you can do easy simplification and uh, push-pull type of uh, modifications as well as repairs to your geometry in some Studio tools. And when you're ready to analyze them, you can use the add-ins directly built into some Studio tools and push your models to simulation mechanical, CFD, or mold flow applications. 
Um, in this case, I have defined a material information for SimStudio file, and therefore it is asking me whether I want to import that uh, material data into Simulation Mechanical. And upon saying yes, I have the geometry, and I have the orientation, and I can create the mesh using the uh, Generate 3D Mesh button. And upon the mesh completion, once again, the element type, element definition uh, will be updated. But this time, because a material property was defined in the CAD package, in this case, SimStudio Tools, that material information got automatically listed in the uh, browser. I can right click and edit that. And it will show me that this stainless steel has properties listed here. If I want to change it to another material, I can simply go to the uh, designated Autodesk simulation uh, material library and choose the material I want. And uh, what we can see the updated material properties directly in here with the um, uh, reference source information and uh, where this material came from. And when I hit OK, it will prompt me if I want to uh, make this change. And I can say yes and proceed with adding loads and boundary conditions uh, to this geometry to uh, analyze. And uh, one last thing is around the unit system. As you can see, it says a custom unit system has been created for this. But if I wanted to change the unit system, so that the display units are in English inches, for example, I can simply double click English inches and my uh, legend as well as any type of material property listed for a given um, uh, property will be updated to the display unit system that I have selected. To summarize, in this uh, module, we went over importing a CAD model into Simulation Mechanical. We talked about the differences in coordinate system orientation for various CAD systems. Uh, we used SimStudio tools uh, to create and uh, push geometry to Simulation Mechanical. Uh, we generated uh, several uh, meshes for all these imported geometry and talked a little bit about um, the material options. Thank you for watching.